What's up guys, my name is Michael Westbrook and today we're talking about weird sounds and more specifically using odd or weird sounds in what I consider to be normal musical context. To do this, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Particle from Red Panda. I've been wanting to check this pedal out for a while and so I reached out to Red Panda and they graciously sent me one. So thank you to them for that. When I was listening to demos of this pedal before I got it, I noticed one thing, that most of the demos, uh, at least guitar-wise, are of someone just playing through the pedal by themselves. There's not a whole lot of demos that show musical context to use these types of sounds. So that's kind of what I want to do today. I want to talk about you know, how I would go about using some of these granular type delay sounds in a musical setting and maybe give you some ideas of how to use weird sounds in what I consider normal music. Whether you're interested in the particle or another granular type delay, I think maybe this video will give you some ideas of how to use those sounds or different ways you can tweak odd effects to use them in different musical settings. All right, let's take a listen to a demo. Particle 2 is what Red Panda describes as a pitch shifting granular delay style pedal and it has lots of great sounds um, that are very interesting and unique. We're starting to see more and more of these types of pedals on the market um, and ever since they started coming around I've always been really intrigued with these types of sounds but um, you know there's always been a big question mark in my mind as to how do I use these? How do I use these in the types of musical settings that I typically playing in with the different artists that I'm playing with is there a place for it and so um, as I was kind of exploring the particle and you know finding different sounds and trying different things I was thinking about these kinds of things and I think there are some features in the particle too that make it great for finding really unique sounds yet really usable sounds so I want to take a look at some of the parts in the demo that we just listened to um, just take a little closer look and you know see what they sound like by themselves and kind of let you know what I'm doing with those. Again, I think some of these techniques are things that you can do with other pedals as well. So if you're not really interested in the particle, maybe this will give you some ideas for using unique sounds or finding unique sounds, um, you know, with whatever gear that you have um, to make new and interesting music. This first sound is kind of a chorus type sound. And I find with pedals that do pitch shifting, when we set them a little more subtle and adjust the blend, we can get these types of sounds. And they just do it in a really unique way. They do it in a way that maybe a typical chorus pedal wouldn't do. And so I think there are lots of great of these kind of chorusy type sounds in the particle too. Um, it's almost chorus with a bit of reverb. It adds this kind of um, ambient, um, you know, reverb type thing to the sound that really makes it unique and different than your average, you know, chorus pedal or even reverb with modulation added to it. For this part, I actually doubled it. So we've got one on the left and one on the right. And especially when we're using this kind of chorusy sound, doubling it and hard panning it left and right can really make it feel extra wide and just super cool and unique.
The other part in this section is a harmonics part. I'm playing just harmonics on the guitar and I'm using kind of a traditional granular type delay sound. It's a little unpredictable, but it adds a really nice texture. And I feel like these types of sounds, um, you know, we hear a lot of these kinds of sounds in the demos that you typically hear with the Particle 2 or other granular style delays, but you don't always hear them in a musical context. And I feel like these kinds of sounds can be great for adding um, you know, a textural element. It can be hard to write parts because they're a bit unpredictable. Um, the delays tend to be short and uneven. But if, you know, say we add a reverb to it or playing longer notes, this is a way that we can really add um, that octave you know, kind of texture to something that's a little unpredictable and really unique and special. <laughs> This kind of slidey lower part on the white telly in the B section of this song uses the reverse setting. And this really gives that part um, just some movement, some unique movement, but the blend is kind of down. So it's not necessarily a really present type sound, but it adds a unique character. And I think that that's key with these types of sounds, um, these types of really unique sounds that might um, be you know, considered strange or weird in a more normal musical context just finding something that we can kind of blend in there that maybe sits in the background it isn't in the forefront it's not you know necessarily taking the focus of the listener's ear but it just adds a uh, a special character to it just makes it a little different than something that you would normally hear I think one thing on the Particle 2 that makes this easy as well is the addition of the tap tempo on the version 2. This makes it so we can kind of get things a little more time-based. And I find with most pedals, if you can get them synced and um, and dialed in time-wise, then you can actually get away with a little more because they start to fit you know, what's going on musically and um, they just they can sit in a track a little easier that way. Now, it can be really cool to not use that feature and to have something that's maybe unpredictable or not on beat. Um, and, and sometimes those types of sounds, those types of sounds stand out a bit more and maybe can be heard a little more. So to reiterate that, basically a lot of times when you have, say even just a simple delay, if it's locked in time-wise, it's going to blend into the track a little better than say if something is not quite Quite synced in time wise. Um, if it's not synced, then it's going to poke out a little more. You're going to hear that effect a little more. And that can be super cool um, if done right. You know, even though it's not linked perfectly time wise, it can be a really nice effect that kind of draws your listener's ear in. Before we take a listen to some more sounds, I do want to mention right here that if you're enjoying this kind of video where I'm talking through parts and kind of talking through my thought process on creating parts, definitely check out my course. It's all about layering parts. And I do a lot of this kind of thing where I go through short demos and I talk about um, just ideas on layering parts and creating guitar parts that lock together and that work together. I make that course um, super practical. It's just super practical practical tips on coming up with parts and I kind of organize parts into five different types of parts um, and just again it's very practical um, no matter what skill level you're at so if if you're enjoying this type of video or I'm kind of talking through those types of things definitely check that out um, you can hit the links in the description below not only do I believe that that course will be super helpful for you if you're looking for that kind of thing but it also helps support the channel and helps me make more videos The other part in the B section of this song that's kind of higher and repetitive is almost like a ring mod, um, or it kind of sounds like that. It reminds me of that type of sound. And what I did with this sound is that I actually combined the Particle 2 sound with a good bit of amp overdrive. And so it gives it this unique character. And I think that's something that you need to explore when you're using really unique type effects is combining it with other effects um, so that it might be a little more usable or a little more unique. I find especially with these types of sounds, the granular delay types of sounds, um, if you um, combine it with say a longer reverb or a really washy reverb, it almost makes it more textural and it kind of 
almost uh, softens the edges a little more so that you're not hearing it jump out as much. It blends into the track a little more. And again, you get that unique texture, you get that feel, but it's not necessarily overpowering what you're playing. This last lead type sound is almost a combination of reverb, slapback, and modulation. And I find that these granular style delays do this type of sound really well and in a very unique way. It's something that you're not going to get from a standard delay. Um, you know, with all of these sounds, the thing that I love about this pedal um, and that I feel like it does really well is that it gives us those, you know, granular delays and the pitch shifting stuff. It gives us all those weird sounds. But when we need to dial in something that's a little more usable yet still really unique and has a, a different type edge to it than something we might get from a standard delay or modulation pedal, um, it can do that really well and really easily. And that's not always the case when it comes to quote unquote weirder pedals. Um, and that always keeps keeps me from picking up or buying pedals that do something really unique because I want to be able to get those unique great sounds but I also want to be able to get stuff that's a little more usable that's not going to get me the side eye from whatever artist I'm playing with you know that's something that I'm always trying to consider it's like well what's what's usable that's different but isn't you know too much it's not distracting from the song or distracting um you know from from what's going on elsewhere musically with the people that i'm playing with so um you know these types of sounds and the sounds that i've been discussing in this video i feel like are those types of sounds they're really unique they're different but very usable that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the Particle 2 from Red Panda. I do think it is a great pedal, not only for weirder type sounds, but just unique, more normal sounds. And all of those sounds, I think, can be used in quote unquote normal musical context. It's really just about learning the pedal, learning how to dial those kinds of things in, using the tap tempo, using the blend, um, dialing in your pitch, you know, to, to suit the song, whatever you're doing. Um, you know, I think a lot of times these types of pedals can get overlooked because they're quote unquote weird. But again, there's lots of different ways to use them and they can be really inspiring. Again, thank you for watching. Be sure to check the links down in the description for more info on the Particle 2, as well as my course on layering parts. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there.